We're going to be covering the paintbrush tool in this tutorial. The paintbrush tool is located in the toolbar on the left side. It looks like a giant paintbrush. The shortcut is the B key on the keyboard. So let's select that. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to draw or paint on your artboard. If you want to change the color, you're going to make sure that you have the stroke selected because what the paintbrush does is it creates a path. A stroke is a path. If you have the, the fill selected and you add a color to it, they'll say, okay, cool, I can draw with this color now. And then you try it and you realize that, hey, nothing happened. The reason for that is because you have the fill and not the stroke. You want to make sure you have the strokes. So you can either come over here and click, click the stroke or you can use the keyboard shortcut which is X and it toggles in between the stroke and the fill. So we have the stroke selected, we can come over here, we can change the color or we can go to swatches and pick a color. And once we do that, we're now able to draw on the artboard. Alright, so that's how you switch the color. Now come over to the panels on the right side and you'll see something that looks like three paint brushes. Also known, sometimes it'll also say brushes next to the panel depending if you collapsed it or not. So if you collapsed, just pull it out, you can see it says brushes. Select brushes. There are some pre-made brushes. You have the basic 15 point rounds, oval, then you have basic line, you have a charcoal line. So you can paint with different paint brushes. Divider. If you don't like one, you just click and drag to the garbage can and it'll erase it. When this window pops up, expand strokes, remove strokes, cancel. This is because the paintbrush I am erasing or deleting has already been painted on my artboard. So if I want to expand the strokes, it'll, tr it'll keep the strokes. If I remove the strokes, it'll just keep the line regular. If I cancel, it won't erase anything. If I want to create my own brush, I can come down here to New Brush or click on the menu and New Brush. So there's three different types of brushes I can make. Let's stick with the Bristol brush. Hit OK. I can change the name, the shape. You have round, blunt, point, curve, angle. So you can do a round brush or a flat brush. The nice thing is when you change the size, length, density, thickness, opacity, and stiffness, this little window right here will show you a preview of what it looks like. And so you can play around and you can find a brush that you will like and you hit OK. Once you do that, it automatically adds it to the brushes panel and then you can paint with it. In addition to that, in the brushes window in the panel, there's a little icon on the bottom left corner. It says brushes libraries menu. If you click that, you can see there are pre-made brushes. You have arrows, artistic, border, bristle, bu bristle brush, decorative, vector packs, and Whatcom 60 brushes. So just kind of explore here and you can see different things that pop up. So let's go to borders and you can do decorative. We can choose any of these. I can choose this one. And once I paint, it'll actually follow that pattern. If I want to delete it, I can just click the X in the top left corner, go back and choose a different brush. We'll do watercolor. And I can choose it. And it'll be like that. Alright, so this is how to use brushes and change color using the fill and stroke.